as I suspected, you have more fibroids than we initially thought, and one of them is rather large. Really? How large? And they will grow very uncomfortable and cause more and more pain and bleeding. Sam, she has six uterine fibroids. Yes, I know. You and told one me. One of them is submucosal. That means inside the uterus, about six centimeters. Anyway, the fact is, Sam, Emma, they've got to go. Susan, I asked your husband to leave the room because I need to speak with you, not him. This is about you and your body, not his. He only wants what's best for me. And I only want what's best for you. The difference is I'm a doctor and I actually know what's best for you. Is there something wrong? I was just thinking about you and how you're feeling. Uh, James, uh, he said that I'm fine. I, I have a lot of work to get done. I'm a little nervous about getting it all done before the surgery, but I'm sure James will make sure everything's okay. You have no idea. Well, were you able to get all the cancer? No, there was no cancer. What do you mean? There was no cancer, fortunately. But we were able to excise the problem. I went in for a cyst on one of my ovaries. So I signed the consent form, and when I woke up, they'd taken both ovaries and my uterus. But I didn't have cancer. Hallie, this is a family matter. Yes. This is a family matter. And your family has a history of cancer. You have to decide for yourself. How and there's no undoing what has been done to me. Why did you do the surgery if I didn't have cancer? Well, you have a strong history of cancer in your family, Susan. And there is no way for us to know until we get in there. Well, it was the safest option. Safest option? What options? Oh, my God. This is not what we talked about, Dr. Rich. Susan. I don't understand. Susan, it's important that you don't overreact. There. Now, you don't, want your, you don't want your husband to see you like this, do you? But... There. There now. I'll be back in tomorrow to make Dr. sure that you're doing better, and you can always go home whenever you feel up to it, all right? Dr. Ridge. Susan, the operation was a big success. Congratulations. I'll be back in tomorrow, and I'm sure you'll be feeling much better. Good evening, Dr. Bender.